Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Wesley Ruff. The Jazz Mavericks playoff series moved to Utah for game three tonight, and fans are ready to erupt and create some energy. But the Jazz didn't give them much of a reason to do that tonight. The Mavs took the crowd out of the game early, right from the start, even without Luka Doncic. He was out with that calf strain. Jalen Brunson, oh my goodness, he's been incredible this series, just attack, attacking Donovan Mitchell for the bucket. Maxi Kleva. Picking up where he left off in game two. Four three balls. He had 17. Dallas up by 10. Daniel House on the baseline trying to bring the Jazz back. Big baseline jam there, but Dallas was on fire. Bertrands with a four point play. Mavs go up by a dozen. The Jazz trying to get Rudy Gobert more involved. 15 points for the big fella. Jazz trailed by 17 at the break. Third quarter. Spencer and Didwitty taking it strong with authority. But then the Jazz start to make a run. Boy on Bogdanovich lights it up from distance. He had 24 points. And after a four-point first half, Donovan Mitchell finally came to life in the third quarter. He scored 18 in the third. Nice little scoop shot there. Then the three ball. Jazz made just 9 of 28 from beyond the arc, though. Then he turns this one into a pretty dunk. Mitchell, kapow! He had 28 in the second half, 32 in the game. Clarkson then jams it. He finished with 14. What a spark, though, from Eric Pascal. The Jazz decided to play small ball. Pascal off the bench, hits the three-pointer. It's a four-point game. Crowd finally getting into it. Then when Mike Conley hit this three-pointer, the Jazz are within one. Oh my goodness, Vivint Arena is going nuts. But the Jazz could never take the lead. Jalen Brunson, one of the smallest guys on the floor, tough to stop on the inside, driving it in the lane. Brunson again finished with 31, made 12 of 22 shots from the field, and then the dagger, Spencer Dinwiddie, to beat the shot clock, drains it, and the Mavs pull away down the stretch. They win. Game three, 126, 118. They lead that series two games to one. Dana Green joins us now live from Vivint Arena. And Dana, the Jazz made a nice rally, but just ran out of gas. Oh, Wes, what a disappointment. For the second straight game without Luka Doncic, the Jazz could not slow down that Mavs three point attack. They made 18 of them, shot 43% from beyond the arc. Boos rained down at halftime from the crowd, booing the home team. And you know what? Deservedly so, the way the Jazz were playing defense. But man, did they tighten up in the second half. Donovan Mitchell just exploded for those 18 third quarter points. The Jazz had their chances to take the lead. Mike Conley missed a couple of open shots. But what can you say about Jalen Brunson? I mean, the man's playing like a beast. 31 points as the Jazz are now down two games to one. You expend a lot of energy, you know, to, to cut a lead and to get to the point where you were. And as you said, we didn't, you know, couldn't get a couple things to fall that may have, you know, given us another lift, you know, taking the lead. I like what we did in the second half. Uh, I like the way we, we came out uh, defensively. And then, uh, and I feel like the offense takes care of itself when we play with that intensity defensively. So the thing for us now is, is, is uh, can we have that intensity defensively for 48 minutes? I mean, it's all about the defense, Wes. The Jazz shot 56%. They made 31 of 33 free throws. You'd think that'd be good enough to win a game, especially at home, but they've got no answer for Jalen Brunson. And you know what? Luka Doncic is expected back for game four Saturday, a must-win situation for the Jazz. I am alive at Vivint Arena where the Jazz are down two games to one. Dana Green, ABC4 Sports. All right, thanks, Dana. He mentioned defense. What defense? Uh. Uh, Jazz are not playing very much defense at all. Game, two, or game four coming up, as Dana mentioned, 2.30 on Saturday afternoon.